All right, everybody, this time around, we got ourselves a Schwinn scooter. There you go, right there. Picked it on up off Amazon, boom, and came in. Beautiful box, all oh, beat the heck. Don't know what the heck was going on inside, but it looked fun to me, so I went ahead and put it on the table and started working on it. When you're taking the stickers off, if you warm it up, Usually the heat will come off with the sticker. It was a little chilly in the shop there that day and it took a little extra oomph to get off. For time, I just went ahead and taped up the emblem. It'll be fine. Oh look, there's a dent from that beautiful box that was all bent to heck. All right, where's my hardener? Can't find it, bought a new one. All right, let me get my body plastic out. All right, oh, it feels kind of light. Oh, oh, there's nothing in there, great. Sure, sure, awesome. Got another can of body plastic with a new tube. Then go ahead and hit it with some 180 grit, chase it with some 400, smooth out those 180 scratches. Use this can of Sims Rattle Can Primer. It's good for small areas. It's small enough. Spray it on there. It dries in about a good hour. I can sand it down in about two or so. Dust on a little bit of white sealer, then chase it with some white base, and just kind of feather it out into the rest of the paint job. Using a low tack vinyl, it's primarily used for like masking off things. So when I peel off every one of these dots down the road, the adhesive stays with the dots and not on the surface. And now I just start applying the polka dots and I'm kind of eyeballing them how far apart I want. Using the front fender as an example for the rest of the bike for the distance between the dots. All right, after I get all those dots on there, now I'll go ahead and get my orange base out, get my cup, get my liner, get the base color, pour it on in, get my reducer next, and start hitting it. Also, don't forget to cut your camera on and take a video of you spraying your frame instead of like what I did, forget, and have to do a fake spray right there to look good for the camera. This is where the low-tech vinyl really comes in nice. Just easily peel them all off and no residue at all. over real good make sure there's no blowouts everything looks good mix up some clear now put some hardener in it cap it up ready to go spray it My tripod in the background now is a permanent paint booth tripod because it's got so much paint and overspray and clear all over it now, so yeah. Now just take your time, start putting it back together. Definitely lay something down so you don't scratch up your nice new paint job. With the cable lines, I just went ahead and taped them up. It was just so much quicker and easier for me instead of trying to fish them back through after a fresh paint job.
right, I think we're done now. Got it all put back together. Got the brakes on. Got them adjusted. Tires are all nice and axles are tightened up. And I tightened up them handlebars again because I forgot to tighten them up. And I went for a little scoot about two feet and about killed myself. Because the handlebars went one direction, the front tire went the other. And um, so, yeah, that was great. I'm sure all the squirrels enjoyed that little show. Well, I hope you all got something out of this. And I appreciate you watching it. You like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And have a good day. Later.